Last video for the 2024 exams, after spending months looking at what the best students are still getting wrong, uh, this is what I've come up with. So it's very heavily on unit three, as you can see. Uh, I might start with this one because it's the easiest. Um, there's probably one large question on organics and you've done months of doing unit four and you've memorized that and that's all you really need to do. Make sure you can write out the full summary sheet in 60 seconds. And if you get those summary reactions right, then you should be fine. I think the 2025 syllabus does it, even has it in the data booklet. So goodbye to unit four. Okay, so um, unit three, um, most of the time you get simple questions, all right? It's just um, a weak acid and uh, you've just got initial concentration so you just sub it all in and do it normally. Um, let me just get this one out of the way. You also can get just the strong acid, strong basis. So you have to work out what the excess is, might be here or over here. Um, and then you just do the molar calculations. What the trick is, is understanding uh, what's going on if that's not the situation. So if they're asking, if they're doing it halfway and, it's, and they've added a little bit of base to it, um, then you need to realize there's some salt there. So the initial concentrations, you need to also calculate that the initial uh, acid has gone down a little bit. Uh, and then you also need to, that, that equivalent amount is now a salt. And so you, now you've got these are the initial concentrations. Okay. Uh, and you can, um, with the X's, the KB will be small as well as the KA is small. So you can write off the X's there. Um, a little bit trickier, um, is if it's at the equivalence point, there is no acid or base left. So you've got the conjugate of the weak base, which now is a new equation. So you need to rewrite the equation and do a KB now. So you have to convert the KA to a KB. Um, and if they're given as PKAs or whatever, you have to deal with that. And that's um, how you solve that one. Okay, so the, the C and D are quite tricky. Um, the D was in the 2022 paper. Um, and A's and B's are quite common. Uh, C's are doable as well, all right? I haven't seen a C yet on a paper, I don't believe, but it's just around the corner. Maybe it's on this paper. Um, okay, this the galvanic electrolytic, I think, are the easiest questions, and everyone gets them wrong. I don't really think about the question, to be honest. I just write down all the half equations. If you're not writing down the half equations, you're going to get it wrong anyway, and you're not going to get marks because the mark scheme will last for the equations. And once you've written out all the half equations, uh, everything that's there in the situation, the answer just pops up, right? It's just the biggest one or the most positive one or whatever. Okay, so um, to be honest with you, you can tell me, I got, uh, just tell me I got one of these questions wrong and I won't even look. Have a look at what you've done. I bet you didn't write out the half equations, all right? Um, so easy, but just people are not doing it. All right, um, getting to a little bit more trickier now here, people are also having trouble with titrations. Um, same deal as with these two here. Um, you have to write it all out so that you can see everything that's possibly going on. Same with this here, you really have to have an understanding of which situation it is and so what you have and what you don't have. For instance, here you do not have any acid or base. You have now a base equation completely different to what you started with. Uh, this one here, you've got to realize you've got this acid now and that acid has now become a conjugate, uh, can become a salt over here. All right. So this one here, you really got to process the question. Okay. So five grams. It was, does, took this much acid dissolve. It was made up to 200 mils. We took 20 mils of that out. It took 15 mils of that to neutralize it. So you need to label it clearly so you can follow yourself and get the marks. Um, and if you get it wrong, get part marks. All right, so these all things would be, some of these things will be worth a mark and some won't. Uh, so start off with you, what you know. Uh, so you know exactly how many moles of sodium hydroxide is, have the written balanced equation there. So now you can do a, a ratio conversion and get the number of moles of H2SO4. You then know the concentration in the 20 mils. So therefore, you know the concentration in the 200 mils is the same. So you can work out how many moles were left over in the 200 mils. Initially from the question, you know how many moles of H2SO4 were put in there. So the number of moles used, which reacted with this carbonate, will be those two numbers minus each other. Um, you know that that is, uh, you, you have another equation there of the acid working with the carbonate, so you can know how many H2SO used, therefore how many carbonate there are. Then you convert that to a mass and divide it by five, and you've got the answer. Um, those 
little subheadings help you follow what's going on, you must have that in your head. Okay, so um, I would say that would be by far and away uh, the reasons people are not getting 100% on the exam. For those that have their act together, it seems to be very difficult to get 100. Um, so best of luck. Um, if you also to mention, not to forget to mention, uh, the website is a little cheaper just until the exam date. Um, and there are obviously all these practice questions on the there with um, video answers as well. Okay, um, and online quizzes too. All right, bye-bye.